all right so um, let's go ahead and create a new file and I'm going to name this lesson 7 I make it HTML so that now HTML and now we want to work with media multimedia working with multimedia multimedia all right so we'll have that so the next thing to do is just go straight in there so when we talk about multimedia we're talking about you know using audios on our page using videos on our page like that so you want to be able to you know reference video and play video um, these are the achievements of modern modern uh, you know um, browsers and modern technology so back in the days there was uh, nothing like multimedia it's just plain text and even image is a problem to get but these days you know we play videos uh, on our page and audios on our page as well so let's see how you uh, how you can do that okay all right so if i want to work with video so i will simply just use a video tag a video tag so video tag work pretty much like a uh, uh, image tag where you have image and then you need to tell us the source of the video so it says source equals to and then you tell us where the video is so if it's local on your system you tell us and use a folder you tell us um, like that and another thing you want to specify for a video um, is maybe width height and of course if you want to autoplay it and you want to give it a, a control but for now let's just have it like this now so um, I have some videos ready that are copied into the directory that we're working with before this recording so I have this lesson 5 is part of the videos that we we did together so we have this lesson 5 um, there uh, you can see the file format is an mp4 format so I can just copy that's the name of the file that's all I need lesson 5 lesson 5 dot extension just like the image too you need to put the extension name so there are about three extensions that are supported supported file formats on the the web so mp4 format and then web um, ogg format is equally supported okay and then you have um, another extension web a4 uh, there about so is equally um, web m you know that's the other extension and is supported on some browsers so but if you really want to be sure that your 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 video plays on all browsers our device you you get it converted to mp4 and you know you can be sure that all browsers would almost you know play it okay so we have lesson 5 the mp4 so if you go ahead now and um, lesson 7 if I save that open with browser so <laughs> you can see what I'm seeing here is my um, pre-recorded the videos that we will as lesson 5 video and it's just filling my home page there's even no control to play it so I can fill it all right so first of all I want to give it a width and height attribute so you can so let me say I give it a width attribute of say 500 and probably we give it a height attribute as well of say 500 500 so if you have that saved so you can see that it's reduced uh, let me give it a title uh, so you can have let's say adding h2 say working with videos and let's say my h1 is working with multimedia so you will have that now 
um, I've given it to weight and height and that has reduced yet I don't have the control to play it yet so if I need to give it the video control that I usually have um, the so if you have that Dana has a control so the control attributes you know is the one that gave it um, this control that you can then play it so when you play it you can see that and then you have the volume you can control the volume of course every single thing that you could do picture in an image you can take a picture in, in the image you know you can take a picture in the image like that all right so you would do that and you come back to to now exit picture you know you can have a full screen so every it's just a complete controls um you you've got that very simple um just by putting this control there and if you want it to auto play you could put it in there as well so that is uh, as the user is loading the page the video just plays automatically so you could have that as well so you can use auto play um, like that so when you do that um, it auto plays so as you're opening the page it just it just plays it just plays like that all right so uh, this is how simple it is to get video on your page you write your video tag the source and tell us the name of the video and of course um, you know the file extension this is just to um, resize it overriding the, uh, the default width and height of it and of course you can use your style the style attribute that we learned earlier to equally set the width and height set um, and the width and height and other parameters that you want to set the controls is the one that gives us these controls the play control you know um, the volume control the full screen control and all of that so just making it uh, you know wholesome and then auto play to automatically play the video all right so that is it now some I, I told about this extension mp4 OGG and webm and not all browsers support all of it so uh, depending on you know the your target audience so you want to be uh, you want to ensure that okay all browsers are able to play your video so you may want to even include more more than one more than one source so you want to have more than one video of different extensions so if this browser can't play this, it's going to play that. If he can't play this, then he's going to play that. Then if he can't play any, then he should tell us that he can't play any. So that's another way of including video. So you can, if I come in here, uh, if I have another video tag. Okay, so rather than specifying it right here, um, the source, I'm just going to have a source tag. Okay, I'll have a source tag and then inside it and then i will specify the source okay so this is where i will specify the source so i can specify multiple source of this video all right so let's say i have this and say source equals to um lesson five dot mp4 So I have lesson 5.mp4. Then I have type equals to so I need to specify the type of the video equals to video slash mp4. Alright, so it's telling the browser that uh, this guy is of video type. So I can have another um, extension and another extension. Alright, so you are supposed to be here and you are supposed to be here. So let's say this one is an OGG file. So I can have this one to be video and this one will be OGG. Alright, so just in case the, this browser is not able to decode um, this, it's going to try and play this. It's the same video, it's just different extensions. So if you can do that, then it's going to try and play this one. So we have web um and this is going to be web web m so uh 
all right so we uh, these, these are the various extensions that we got and then if you can't play this he tries to play this he can't play he tries to play this he can't play it then we can tell it to say something you can just tell it to say your browser is not supported or your browser is outdated but pretty much all browsers know how to play um, mp4 so if we look at that we'll see another video that's the second video that we have in here so you notice that you're not seeing this your your browser is not supported so right in there so if we you know want to resize it and put all the controls we can come in here as well so we can give this a width of 600 and then give it a height of 600 as well so if I have that saved so I can have something like this so this is another video that's the first video this is another video and we can equally have it have a control so we also have controls so when we say controls and so he got his own control this one got his own control now so um this is specifying multiple sources just for compatibility sake okay so we have uh and that so this is how we work with video all right this is how we work with video so let's move on to working with um okay um, this is an mp4 let's say i want to work with video of let's say youtube video for instance that is not on my on my on my system i want to pick youtube and just work with it so youtube uses what we call iframe it uses what we call iframe so i'm going to have iframe tag iframe so in the iframe i would equally have source okay so rather than just writing videos so like let me have here h2 another heading so youtube i have youtube here no, so I will specify the source of my of my video, so which is usually linked to the what's it called itself, um, YouTube itself. So I have source equals to you know a YouTube reference. We're going to go to YouTube and get some the um, um video, okay. So let's say we go to YouTube okay so you can just go to youtube.com and get some some video there so let's say i want this 45 or the light the mind behind um, linux so i can just have that and copy the url so copy the video url at this time okay so i go in here and i have it pasted so i have um u2 dot b uh, so we have we have that so that's this is what is this is what we we actually need from from the video this is the link of the video this one is just you know the host all right so um what you're going to do will be to write it as youtube.com so you have that youtube.com slash embed so this is how you've got to write it embed and then um this is your this is your this is your video link all right so if you save this now and come into your page where's your page working with this so we can have that youtube video down there so you can see the youtube video down there all right so notice what we have done when i pasted it it was like this okay 
so um, this is not going to play if you leave it like that it's not going to play so um, you change this to the real open um, domain youtube.com slash then you have the embed you know keyword then slash this is actually the video URL so you put that there and that is what worked now you can see the video is a bit small so you may want to equally increase the width which is equals to let's say which equals to um, 300 and then let's say height is equals to 300 as well okay so we can specify something like this or well, let me make it 400 400 so it's a bit um, big so when I did that so I can see that my video is a bit um, uh, is more like it now in YouTube as well I may want to you know auto play this I, I may want to auto play it so when I come in here I'll say auto play sorry so here in the link you have you put a question mark here all right so when you put a question mark here, it means you want to attach some keywords key value words to to that um that parameter so here you say auto play equals to one so it means um people do not have to to click on display as soon as it loads um it's going to start it's going to try to start playing this browser was set to not auto play you know so if you if you try to view it on uh, you know let's say another browser this is microsoft edge so you see so this one was auto uh, this one auto place so and of course this one equally auto plays so it's still trying to load it so I can stop that and this one auto plays as well this is Microsoft Edge it tries all its best to to get the the video so and he gave us he gave up so finally he's able to get it to get it after a refresh And as you have noticed, it's, it's started playing already. You can see that what you have there is pause. So it started playing already because we specify autoplay to be equals to 1. Okay. So you can see that it just started playing without horse playing it. So this might be a good or bad idea depending on your, you know, your design, your design spec. All right. So if you are to play it means you are leaving the power out of your user you know and you may you know burn out their data and they may never forgive you all right so um you may not want to use auto play so let them play it if you like if they don't want to play it let them leave it all right so we have that so another important thing that you may want to do is this um relative um equals to uh first or equals to zero now so if you have something like that okay now if you play this video at the at the end of youtube videos if you are at if you put youtube youtube videos on your on your page at the end of youtube videos you know you will see videos that you did not include and they will start playing you know and this could be very annoying you just put a video here and you know that is your own video and someone else's video would, would begin to show up so if you want that to to be half you only want the video that you put there you don't want any other video to show up as a suggestion for me to watch after this you know i only want my users to to watch what have i want them to watch so and uh, you put this rel equals first or rel equals to zero that tells the the youtube that i am not interested in playing related videos you know does so that similar videos would, would show up or similar videos that you have watched in the past the video that you have watched in the past um you know will begin to show up at the end of at the end of your your youtube and um for some reason is a bad idea 
uh, so if you don't want that to happen then you can you you put this then if you want this and equally want autoplay then you do something like this so you use and to join multiple you know query strings so we have and um, autoplay equals to one and then you can then and something x equals to something and just be using this ampersand to join to join it like that so this is how that works so this is how we work with with images and uh, videos rather so this is how we, we work with videos so this auto plays and this one is equally auto playing and when it gets to the end it it doesn't play it doesn't play unnecessary videos all right so that is how we can work with our own local or um, video that is on another website if it's another website all you just need to do is tell us that we have to go through the hypertext and then specify which website it is www.something if we have to go pick this on a, on a, on, a, on another website not uh, YouTube this time around something.com or dot whatever slash um, where the file is located in that directory so once you do this it goes into the site and loads this video it means it's not local to your to your distance so it's not different from what we did while we're doing images okay so uh, if you want to uh, play a remote video um, that's how you're going to do it now moving on to working with images um, so we we'll work with video here and I, I will call this h3 because is a level on that video and let me then put here h2 so h2 i have working with audios very similar to to videos as well very similar now working with audio No audio tag please so I have that like that so here if I just type audio because I'm using um, what's the call um, Visual Studio Code and I install some extensions most of these tags that I've been typing once I just type something a keyword that looks like them I can just pick it up alright so audio has an attribute source and all I need to just specify where the audio is so just like the video as well I have some audios for us so I just put them in this folder um, so that uh, this class that can just flow without having to just um, down without having to go and download the the audios now so we can save some time so I have m1 dot you know I need to look at the extension of that audio and so you have it m1 the m extension of the audio is mp3 you know so that's very important so I put mp3 as the extension of the audio so if I have that save I can go in there and see that I have something like so I have working with audios uh, down here and the extension is equally there so let me say I give it uh, width and height first of all let me give it its itself let me give it its own control as well so if I give it a, its own control so it has the play and all other controls that I might want to put so so we can see that this is an audio section so you could put anything in there and this controls shows up now if I play this now so I hope the files the file name is correct rename M1 and so I have that as M1 dot mp3 
dot mp3 so is is grayed out let me see if this browser is able to play it so we have this this type of audio file isn't supported so you can see that's why it's not playing so he's saying the type of audio file is not supported so what i'm going to do would be to let it know it doesn't know the type of file that i'm giving to it so it's dumb so i'm going to help it so the way to help it will be to to do it like we did this so i'm going to have this um called out then give it to hit like this so i have source then under the source i have the src equals to that and then i have it like that okay so src equals to that and then i get, tell it the type of um this thing that it is so i say is audio slash uh mpeg mpeg all right so you should be able to to decode it that way and then if it's not you can get it converted so you can have other formats as well so you can have another format OGG and uh, we can have so like that so it's so so the file is not supported sorry is m1 not mi m1 so even in the first time in first instance you how to have picked it is it, it was misspelled so it's mi so you can see it's active now and now it's it's playing so it, it's playing now so you can see that as well it's playing it was misspelled so you have that and this is playing so it's, it's no longer say not supported so pretty much you can these are you, you play videos and audios and videos on your page so what he meant is um even here he was able to play but in the in the event that you want to ensure that your videos your audios or videos play well on across multiple browsers so you may want to give multiple sources here yeah? so let's say you come in here you say um this one is hem1.ogg there's another file extension for uh, audios as well so just like we did on the videos so i'll come here and say this is equally ogg so um this is uh the supported audio files and you can have microsoft and um, google chrome microsoft edge firefox safari and opera supporting supporting them okay so pretty much this is it about about um working with media so we call it our plugins where you use objects but these days you know uh, modern browsers you don't you don't need objects to 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 play anything just use a video tag um to play a video and use your audio tag to pl to play your audio and you can equally have animated gif you know animated gif is nothing special than just bringing it as image so we use your image tag you are able to 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 show your animated um gif all right so if you're showing something like a shock wave and you're going to be needing an object tag and a majority of modern browsers do not want that so um, we are not introducing us to to that for now